this is the newest ND filter from Freewell. It's a magnetic variable ND filter solution with a couple extra features and fun things about it. Of course, we all use ND filters to cut down on the light coming into our camera when shooting outdoors, in sunlight especially. And yeah, as many problems as an ND filter can solve for you when it comes to exposure, there's actually a lot of problems that can affect your shoot. And it feels like to me, Freewell has gone out of their way to solve as many of those issues with ND filters in general, especially variable ND filters, as possible, which, you know, let's just get into that right now. Most ND filters you have to screw on, of course, which is fine if they're gonna be on for like a long time, but for me, doing weddings, going in and out of hotels, in and out of party buses, a lot of situations like that, speed is definitely of the essence and having to unscrew a filter, try not to get your fingerprints on it, all this stuff definitely slows you down. With this system, you essentially put a base ring onto your lens. The default, I believe, is an 82 millimeter, but you can get other filter threads like 77 or whatever you want. Plus, you can always just use a step up ring to go from your lens to 82. And then on top of that goes the three to seven stop ND filter, which will cut down in your light. There's a tiny little locking knob on the side and you're good to go. After that, you simply unscrew the same little knob and take off the filter and it is so much easier. Like, I've, I've seen a few things like this before. I think I was aware of the version one of this and I wasn't sure how much of a difference it would make, but even in situations that aren't that fast, it's just so much easier. It, it, it's, it's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. And then yeah, this just going into general build quality before we test the actual optics of this thing. I find that, you know, it's really high quality. It comes in a cool case, which is always nice. And it's actually a case that I'll actually transport these filters in. It has a really cool slots for step up rings and the base plate and the mist filter and just pull it up and there they are. It just has quality to it. The case, the filter, the optics, which we'll talk about in a minute. It's all just really nice. The next problem this thing solved for me was using additional filters. So I'm a big fan of the mist filters, black pro mist, things along those lines, just to soften up the image, especially on really sharp cameras like the S5 Mark II, S5 Mark II X, which no optical low pass filter. Now, these filters aren't really like a substitution for an optical low pass filter, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And typically you just have to put that filter on the lens and then put your step up ring and then put your variable ND filter. Now with this system, they actually make their own mist filters. I was given the snow mist filter, which we're using right now. You can probably see it if I put my hands in the frame to get some glowiness here. And it's a quarter strength, this one, but it is also magnetic. So you can just put it straight on to the ND filter and it works right away. But my favorite part is if you aren't using the ND filter, you know, you're in a lower light situation or whatever it might be, you can take the ND filter off, take your mist filter from Freewell, flip it around and attach it to the same sort of base 82 millimeter plate that connects the filter to. So this is a screw on system when you flip it around, but the fact that you can use the ND filter and the snow mist filter independently or together and switching those in and out is really fast and easy. It's really just a seamless setup that I'm surprised no one else has done. It's, it's really it's really nice. So the next issue that a traditional variable ND filter would introduce would be the this idea of polarization. So polarizers traditionally are going to get you really green foliage, really blue water and skies depending on the angle of the sun. The problem is with ND filters their polarization is completely uncontrolled, which means in one angle, you're gonna get really nice polarization, in another angle you might not be, and it's just kind of based on where the strength of your, your filter is. With this filter, you can change your polarization intentionally. So essentially, you're gonna set your strength, then set your polarization angle and have a great shot. It's just really nice to have a polarizer and an ND filter built into one and it really makes variable ND filters more viable because this is one thing that was really difficult to get around in the past. But another issue you've had if you use cheaper ND filters is the classic X pattern, which happens when more cheaply made variable ND filters aren't limited and the free well is limited to that three to seven stops so you're going to get a really nice range of stops when it comes to cutting down that light without having any bad 
you know, vignetting or X patterns or anything along those lines. So that's really nice. With ND filters or any piece of glass you add in front of your lens, I'm always worried about sharpness taking a big hit. I'm worried about flare being really bad or even worse, glare from tons of different angles just destroying the contrast of your images. And, you know, first looking at this lens flare test, I don't really see a big difference at all with the filter on versus off. There's a little bit, but the color remains neutral of the flares and it doesn't really affect the image that much. There's not a big problem with glare either. There's maybe a slight bit of contrast loss, but compared to some other lenses that wash out the entire image, turn it green, it I've seen some horrific indie filters that I've bought thinking I could cheap out and it's just never been worth it. Another thing is sometimes you'll get a texture in the background or the you know specular highlights in your bokeh. And with this lens, I haven't noticed any real issues with an extra texture being introduced to those highlights, which is really nice because I've always thought that looks particularly ugly, just having the weird extra oniony sort of look in your bokeh, just not great. And because of the larger size, there's really no issue with vignetting as well as sharpness and color all lines up really well. And I can't tell the difference in 4K video between filter or no filter. Oh, and let's talk about that snow mist filter for a little bit. And yeah, it is a little strong. I usually go for one eighth filters for black pro mists and things like that. But a one quarter, depending on your situation, is gonna be pretty nice. I mean, just lights through trees or skies or things like that. It's gonna have just a really nice soft image across the frame. If you're shooting right into like a flashlight in a dark scene or have a spotlight from a stage or something, then it might be a little overpowering, but that's just how it goes with mist filters in general. Sometimes it's gonna be subtle. Sometimes it's gonna be overpowering based on your situation. And I think that's why it's nice to be able to swap that filter in and out pretty quickly, depending on your needs. So overall, this is a really convenient system with some really great features with the magnetic swapping and locking and the case, the build quality is amazing. And the thing I was most afraid of was definitely the optics, but there doesn't seem to be any compromises there really either. I think if I'm not using a matte box, this has essentially just become my, my new standard filter for my cameras. At least, you know, I mean, I've got a lot of cameras, so they can use the old filters, but this is the filter that's going on my A camera from now on. So yeah, well done Freewell. And if you guys are in the market for a new ND filter, or have been interested in this sort of magnetic system, it is worth it and I think it's going to save you a lot of time and I think it just it's just so satisfying to just, you know, turn a little knob, pull it off, put it on, very easy, very quick and uh, yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. So thanks again for Freewell for sending this out to me. Um, they did send it to me and I really appreciate it, but they gave me, you know, full reign to say whatever I wanted, which is a requirement for me accepting anything along these lines. And yeah, I think it's really cool. So let me know guys, what are some ND filters you guys like to use? What do you guys think of this ND filter? And otherwise I will see you guys in the next video.